which of the following reactions are correct a set of following reactions are provided a set of four different varieties of transformations are provided for us in that how many of them are correct such of questions are framed for us asked for us now we will write the options provided options provided for us in the form of question as i informed the question is which of the following are correct and the list of reactions in the form of options provided for us are consisting of benzene plus chlorobenzene by using anhydrous aluminum chloride it is converted to diphenyl compound this is an option similarly benzene followed by chlorine in presence of excess chlorine followed by anhydrous aluminum chloride it is converted to hexa chlorobenzene whereas benzene followed by vinyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride is converted to styrene that is vinyl benzene benzene followed by allyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride is converted to allyl benzene these are the four options out of them we have to identify those whichever are occurs whichever are correct whichever are practical as well as real if i go for option number 1 anhydrous aluminum chloride can generate a stable carbocation generally carbocation is that one the generated carbocation as being it is lewis acid is it can be a primary it can be a secondary it can be a tertiary or of sp3 nature not as of sp2 not as of sp nature but here this carbon is of sp2 carbon so from here generation of carbocation becomes difficult not only difficult it is not possible with the help of anhydrous aluminum chloride if cation is not generated attacking of this particular benzene over this cation is not possible that does not leads to the formation of what diphenyl hence cation formation is not possible this particular ring formations this particular two rings formation that is biphenyl formation does not occurs the same scenario works in the case of third here also this particular carbon is not sp3 carbon this is sp2 in nature as being it is sp2 with the help of anhydrous aluminum chloride generation of this cation becomes difficult not possible impossible hence as cation is not generated it also never makes an attack over the benzene so therefore that vinyl benzene that is styrene preparation is also does not works if i remove these two things then the fate of the total reactions can be given by yes let us go for the remaining things chlorine followed by anhydrous aluminum chloride chlorine followed by anhydrous aluminum chloride one chlorine bond is broken as cl minus combines with the al cl3 and it is converted as al cl4 plus followed by it generates what cl plus as excess chlorine is present excess amount of cl plus is generated thus it makes an attack over the benzene first hydrogen is got replaced the second is third is fourth is fifth is sixth is all got replaces over here thus it results into the formation of hexa chlorobenzene formation takes place and it appears as correct let us go for the option number 4 this is allyl chloride this is allyl chloride if this allyl chloride is allowed to react with aluminum chloride AlCl3 so therefore AlCl3 will take the lone pair of electrons present on the chlorine the whole system eliminates from this because it can generate the stablest cation that is allyl cation is getting generated after cleavage of this bond as AlCl4 minus that allyl cation makes an attack over the benzene results into the formation of what allyl benzene this is allyl benzene this also works hence the formation of allyl benzene and the formation of hexa chlorobenzene works these two formation is possible but not the other two and another question is regarding the aromatic nature and the question is asked for us and is present like this which of the following is not aromatic in nature and the options provided for us are consisting of options are of cyclopropenyl cation name of this compound is cyclopropenyl cation whereas this is also anion that is cation cyclopentadienyl cation 
సైక్లో పెంట డై ఈనై కేటయా and this one is cyclo hepta trinyl anion cyclo hepta trinyl anion and this one is cyclo hepta triene cyclo hepta triene is the name of the compound whereas the planarity things appears to be correct whereas in this case planarity is not present and it doesn't becomes an aromatic compound whereas remaining all three compounds forcefully are on its own they maintain planarity if i count the total number of electrons total number of electrons will become equal to 2 total number of electrons will become equal to 4 total number of electrons will become equal to 8 as being total number of electrons are 2 that is 4 into 0 plus 2 it matches hence it will become what aromatic whereas total number of electrons are multiples of 4 into n hence it is anti aromatic in nature total number of electrons are 8 in place this also becomes equal to some 4 n multiples 4 multiples and it is also what anti aromatic in nature out of given four compounds only one compound is aromatic in nature remaining compounds are not aromatic that is cyclopenta dienyl anion is dienyl cation is non aromatic that is not aromatic compound cycloheptha trinyl anion is not aromatic compound cycloheptha triene is also what not an aromatic compound